Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Wednesday. Good to see you all. All right. Good to see you, Bones. Good to see you, Phil. Ken, good to see you. Grant Brockway, good to see you. Chuck, Brian, everybody. Lita, good to see you all. All right. So uh, I guess uh, I had some breaking news I forgot to tell everybody yesterday. And uh, we we're in the, the pre-market. We're looking around. And I'm like, you know, it's a little slow. So anyway, I'm going to tell you a funny story. So I'm downstairs at my house working out. I'm on the treadmill running, doing my, you know, getting, you know, do, getting ready for work this morning. I'm up around like 6 o'clock in the morning. I do a couple of research. It's going to the market. My son comes running down and goes, Dad, Dad, you got to make me breakfast. I, I'm like, they got to make you breakfast? I'm like, is it mom up? And she's like, no, mom's not feeling too well. I mean, dude, you got to catch the bus in like 10 minutes. And he's like, I know, so hurry up. So I come upstairs. To find out that the kids are off from school. <laughs> so I'm like, what the hell just happened? Hold on, let me, I'll raise the volume there. So um, the kids are off from school. And I'm like, oh, great. You know what? Thanks. Thanks for telling me that. So in the meantime, why is it so the point, the whole, the whole situation about it, it is another Jewish holiday. Um, my kids, they love Jewish holidays because they're all from school. So anyway, you got two big Jewish holidays, the one we just did. And now this is actually, a, this is actually the biggest one actually of them all. This is Yom Kippur and the kids are all from, um, from, uh, today and tomorrow. It actually started yesterday. So the thing is, is that it's going to, the reason why I'm bringing it up, it's going to be slow. Okay. Even though the market's up and the whole, the reason why the market's up, you obviously heard the news you know, that China and U.S. might be coming out with a, with a, uh, a deal together. But overall, I mean, it's pre-market, not really seeing that much. I did this one trade um, in the pre-market, which a lot of you guys saw me do. I called it out, the OCGN. I put a limit order out there at a buck sixty one. I actually got executed. And um, I, I put my limit order to sell it at the resistance levels, which is right around here, around a buck sixty six. I didn't get filled. I ended up saying, you know what? Let me get rid of this dog uh, stock. And let me just show you why. Let me just bring up a one-minute chart. You could see it kind of never really broke out. And I got out at 163. So the point is, you know what? I made two cents. That's not the point. That is a winner because you know what? If I didn't get out, guess what? It would be a loser right now. All right? So you basically, that's, that's the issue that you would have right now with the OCGN. All right? So uh, the big thing is, you can't go broke taking profits, and if things don't go your way, that's usually the big thing right there, all right? So everybody should be able to see the screen right now, the OCGN. All right, so now the other stock that I had, I was getting a little, a little nervous. I had the Nate trade. So Nate obviously came back. Uh, I was getting a little nervous because it backed off, all the way that back down, where I own it at, uh, was it, 359? So anyway, the big news is, guys, is this. The tanker stocks are still moving. The tanker stock, and it's so funny because it, it bounces around. This one's moving, the other one's moving, so the tankers are still hot, all right? Uh, I guess we, we, we said it yesterday, there was a report from one of the analysts that said the stock should be about seven, uh, $4, this one right here. But FRO, you know, I, I basically traded every one of them. So I wish, you know, the funny thing is you can't trust these things. You know, we've seen them before, we've seen them tank. But we also seen him start here and, you know, um, TLRY. Remember the pot stock went from $7, eight, 18 and went all the way to 130 in about, what, two, three days? So that could happen, you know? So, But I, I, I don't trust it. I mean, I don't trust it because if I still so – I know some people that own that stock at those prices and, and they literally are at, lost everything. So that's the great thing about being a day trader, being very conservative, make your money. But the, the, all of them are still moving. So I got the FRO – we got the Nate still back on there. I did the swing trade on that one. And by the way, the only reason why I swing trade that one, because it was extremely strong going into the close. So it looks like we're right back to um, breaking yesterday's high. And the big thing here is uh, you got to go back in history. I mean, look where I'm at. I'm all the way at 2017. I mean, this stock has obviously got plenty of room to go. So I'm actually feeling a little more confident. It looks like we're getting some big orders that are coming in. Uh, I see a big seller. I think I told you this yesterday. That seller, I think it looks like he just jumped in at 378. Not that much. 2,000 shares. We'll see where it's at uh, on that Nate. And then obviously we got the tank. So anyway, the big thing about this, you know, they're very cheap. They're very inexpensive. And I know some, some of us are a little bit more advanced traders. And I know some people give me scrutiny and like, you know what? 
I don't trade. Why are you trading these inexpensive stocks? You know, everyone else is trading, you know, Facebook and Amazon and this. Well, obviously, less risk, more reward. And guess what? You could trade several thousand shares of this like I do. You know what I mean? So the big thing is it's a lot more controllable. As long as you got the volume, you're fine. All right. So we got these stocks that are doing pretty well. Now, um, I did have the OCGN. I think I'm going to probably take it off. Uh, I'll keep it on there. I mean, it's gapped up pretty big. You can see this stock, you know, going back in 2019, stock was $180. You know, listen, some people want to, you, you want, hey, you want to play with $160 stock? God bless you. You know, look how that thing worked out for you. Up 25%. Woo. Imagine up 25%, $160 stock. You think anyone's averaged you down that one? OC. OCBC is another one I found this morning in pre-market. That one gapped up. Another one that took a little bit of a hit right there. Uh, up 6%. That one looks okay. Getting some decent volume right there. What else we got? The SDRL. That's another one that showed up on my radar. Another stock that got... It's so funny. Everyone got like decimated. $26 stock down to $1.70. This one's up about 9%. Maybe getting a little bit of bottom fish on there. Look at the right. Look at those orders. Got some nice, nice iceberg orders out there. That one looks pretty good. The EROS, I thought was probably maybe the better ones out of them all because didn't trade that many shares. It's got a good volume. It's got good volatility. And we got some good support and resistance levels from yesterday. Another stock that got pretty destroyed. That one looks okay. And the MBT. So anyway, I'm not, I'm not sold, okay? Listen, like I told you, Ken said he made 13 cents on SDC. All right, there you go. Good way to, it's always nice to start with a nice little, little profit in the morning pull the market opens up. But listen, it's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, I think this, this is the most religious, biggest Jewish holiday of them all. Kids are off from school. I told you, a lot of, um, a lot of my colleagues li, you know, run and, and work in Wall Street. So listen, if they're off, listen, people don't, and especially when kids are off, it's not even them. You know, it's more or less that kids went on vacation. And guess what? Because it's today and tomorrow, guess what? They take off Friday. They got a nice week vacation. You know what I mean? Once again. So yeah, I'm, not ex I'm not expecting to be a active, crazy market. Um, but hey, we always find something that always pops up. But I'm still a big, uh, a big uh, fan of those stocks, uh, specifically the the the. Uh, tanker stocks, let's keep an eye on them. They haven't done these nasty shakes yet. They did do a little bit yesterday at the open, but I, I'm still a little excited about them. All right, guys? So um, there's our watch list. Now, a couple of things before we go. Don't forget, today, open house, 12 o'clock, all right? So um, be there or be square. I think that's what they always say. Now, listen, I'm going to be, I'm going to be gone tomorrow. I'm going to be traveling all day. Um, I'm going to be at the, uh, the Traders for a Cause, the six hour, uh, annual charity. I know some of you guys are going to be there too. I will be back on Friday in the room though. Uh, listen, if I, I, I might even trade on the plane. You know, I'm going to try to get my Wi-Fi. If I'm, everything's cool, if I get on, my, from Fortune, my flight leaves at 9.30. So it's like right at the open. You know we're done within the first hour. So if, I, if everything looks good, I'll, I'll jump in there. But I, I, specifically, I don't think it's going to be a really active market. Uh, but I think maybe Friday you might get some action. But overall, listen, the great thing about what we do, we could do this anywhere in the world at any time, and it's not a full-time job. So, um, so that's what we got going on. So anyway, if I see you guys out there in the Vegas show, look forward to it, uh, trading for a cause. Uh, and once again, it's a great charity, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll be sending a couple of tweets. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, I'll get a couple Instagrams. I know uh, the Nigerian brothers, uh, Pete and John are going to be there. Look forward to going uh, hanging out with them. Good friends of mine. I'm, I'm going to have them on back back on Cybertrain University too. So a uh, lot, lot of great presenters. So anyway, good luck today, guys. If I see anything, say I'll say something. And then if you're new to here to Cybertrain University, hopefully you've been enjoying it, Look, lear learning a lot. You can see this concept is totally different. This is day trading at its best, all right? So just uh, just be safe. Now, once again, Let's keep an eye on these tanker stocks. If something new comes out, we'll go out there and share it, all right? So we'll start the audio broadcast again at 9.30 when the market opens up. Remember, we only do it for an hour because that's only we need to trade is one hour, and that's it. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be back at 12.